Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. We have a special guest joining us today. Fred Green from Martin is here. Hi, Mitch. Thanks for coming in, Fred. Thanks for having me. Chief Product Officer, Vice yeah. President of Manufacturing. So you're, yeah. you're the man. Yeah, you know? I got lots of acronyms in front of my name. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. How long have you been at Martin? 11 years. Yeah. Yeah, 11 years now. And so, Great. So what you do is you oversee the actual building of the guitars and the instruments? If, they, if people are touching guitars, they're probably working with me. Right, right. So it's it's a great job. It's a dream job. Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah, a job a lot of people would like to have. Yeah, it's Designing guitars and building guitars. Got to be fun. Absolutely, man. It's the best. Yeah. Speaking of fun, check out what you're holding here. Yes. What you see here is a D100. Wow. One of two mm -hmm. that Sweetwater has. Right. Uh, these are basically ba based after our millionth guitar. Okay. We did a celebration guitar. Uh, for our millionth serial number. And it took us from 1833 to 2004 to build a million guitars. Wow. In 2004, on the millionth serial number, we made a very highly ornate special guitar. Mm -hmm. After we did that, we decided to go ahead and build a D100 based on that particular guitar. Okay. Um, obviously, as you can see, a very ornate piece. Wow. Yeah, incredible amount of workmanship. And that each one of these would be serialized starting at one million. So we have a million one, a million two, a million three. We happen to be holding one million forty-seven mm -hmm. right here. Right. Of the fifty that we've built. Okay. Uh, it was an eight-year project. Wow. Uh, a labor of love. And I do mean labor. Right. <laughs> uh, this is a lot of work. Oh man. It really represents the pinnacle of what we're capable of building at Martin Guitar. It's the finest of all the materials. Uh -huh. Brazilian rosewood, Adirondack top. Uh, we just go through the factory and pick out the best of everything. And one by one, we start to put these together. Wow. A very specialized group of folks are allowed to work on this guitar. Not just anybody can pick it up. Mm -hmm. It takes us anywhere from nine months to a year. To make each one? To make each one. Wow. Uh, so like I said, it's taken us eight years. Wow. To make 50. I keep saying wow because wow. Wow, really so much. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's just so stunning. much detail work that's taken place. There are jewels. There's pearl. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of materials. Um, there have to be thousands of pieces of inlay. It's to make <laughs> at least a this. thousand pieces of inlay. I mean, it, it's really hard to describe unless you see it in person. Mm -hmm. And you know, and one of the most beautiful things about this is it's not a wall hanger. Right. It's not just a paperweight for people to enjoy and, and look at. It's functional art. Right. Yeah, you were pointing earlier. It sounds it beautiful. It sounds incredible. Yeah. And we were just having a discussion about this earlier that in the, I think in 1936 to 1941, somewhere in that neighborhood, we built the D45, which was a very high pearl guitar. Mm -hmm. And we only made 91. And those guitars today are going for anywhere from a quarter million dollars to $400,000 right. each. Right. And there's 91 of them. There's only 50 of these mm -hmm. in the entire world. So in the future, the collectability of a piece like this is just incredible. It's gotta be we're not going to make another. Thank this God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my heart could take it. Every time I see one in the factory, I'm like, careful. Right. Yeah, be absolutely careful. But it's, yeah. it's an absolutely beautiful guitar, and a, a very, very special piece. And the fact that you guys have two. Yes, we do. I think we have 40, number 47 and number 48. 48. That's incredible. So, Chris yeah. Martin has number 50. Okay. He decided to go ahead and buy the very last one. Nice. For his own personal collection. Right. So, yeah, I, I remember when uh, when the millionth came here to Sweetwater. Actually, it was yeah. kind of on a tour. I think to just a few places, and you brought it in with all the security guards and the whole. Right. It was a big production to bring that instrument oh, here. Yeah. All the people came out to see it. It was really, yeah. really pretty uh, incredible. It so. really is a priceless piece. Yeah. And the fact that that guitar really inspired this guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, the connection to the history of Martin uh, with these particular guitars is. It's something very special. And the fact that it's, it's a Brazilian rosewood guitar, which we really don't do much Brazilian rosewood anymore. Right, right. All right, it, you can't, it's very difficult to legally obtain anymore. Mm -hmm. And our stuff is, uh, before it was banned, we, we've had a, we had a whole bunch in stock. Mm -hmm. And we have very few pieces left. And we have some very premium pieces left. That's in Chris Martin's personal collection right. of wood. And these guitars are basically born out of that. Wow. So that is really, really special. Yeah. So if you want one of these, boy, you got to get it now. You got to get it now. Yeah, they will not come up for sale. Yeah. These are the kinds of things people buy and they never let go of. Right. Yeah. Right. It's an heirloom, so you won't. Right? You, it's an heirloom that you just won't find on the market. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity to buy one is it truly is once in a lifetime. Yeah. Truly. Now we have another special guitar that uh, you guys have, have created as well, and that's the OM45 Deluxe. That's right. 
And tell us about that. What was the, uh, the idea there? Well, originally only 11 OM45 Deluxes were made. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided, we have a program called our Authentic Program where we make recreations of famous Martin models. And we said, let's go ahead and do an OM45. It's such a rare piece. Right. Brazilian rosewood also, handmade, um, high glue. We only made 11 just like the original. Oh, nice. We took that original, we had an original guitar, we had it scanned. We had everything checked on it, and then we just did an exact replica of that particular piece. Hmm. It's truly a special piece. And it's funny, you, you discover lots of little nuances about guitars when you put them under a microscope. Uh -huh. Because they were all handmade, and they were all a little bit different. Right. So we decided that the piece that we had was the one we were going to use as the base. Mm -hmm. And we ran it, and only the custom shop folks work on it. Uh, like I said, a, a very select group of people. Uh, all the braces were cut by one guy. Mm -hmm. who's been with the company for over 40 years. Right. All hand done, just a chisel and glue. Right, right. And a really incredible special piece. And one of the, honestly, one of the best sounding guitars I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I can imagine. And I get to hear a lot of guitars. Yeah, I bet you do. I mean, I I've been do. at Martin, since I've been at Martin, we've, half the Martin's ever built since I've been there. Wow. You know, since 1833 have occurred, and I get to play a lot of guitars, and that guitar is one of the ones that we just go, all right. <laughs> now I know why I do this. This is incredible stuff. It's wow. really special. Yeah. Really special. I've been to the factory and watched the, the custom shop guys carving those braces and stuff. It's just incredible to watch them. They're so skilled at that. It goes so fast. I like watching them going, shouldn't you slow down? Shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just zoom, zoom, zoom. And they make it look easy. Yeah. They really make it look easy. They'll be talking to you. Yeah, wait, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> and they're just chiseling things away. And then if you try to do it yourself, you're like, man, this is hard. Yeah. I, they're, they're really very special people. Yeah, those are skilled artisans, really. Yeah. It's not like a, it's not a bottling factory. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Things just don't go down the line. It's, it really is artwork. Right. Yeah. They're incredible people. What fun stuff. Yeah. And they sound incredible. Like you say, they're playable art. That is really. Uh, that, that really is what it is. It's functional art and it's beautiful stuff that you, your eyes can enjoy, your ears can enjoy, your hands can enjoy it. Right. And other people can enjoy it. Absolutely. There's not much things in the world that can do that. That is very true. And you can pass it on for generations. Absolutely. And you can get it right here at Sweetwater. Wonderful. Brett, thanks so much for coming in. These guitars are incredible. It's been such a pleasure having you here talking about these and getting a chance to, uh, to check them out. It's really been fun. Hey, thanks for having me. I really enjoyed it. Please come back. I'll absolutely and bring more of these incredible I will bring more guitars. <laughs> we'll look forward to it. No problem. Right. To wrap things up here today, we want to give you a chance to check out these very special instruments. Our own Don Carr had a chance to take them for a spin, and here's what they sound like. And thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.